Alrighty, I am here, and we are going to work on push today. It's time to push today, and I probably will have to go in and get my push settings to go, as in the um the skill bar and everything, because I believe my old skill bar of um well my previous farming skill bar is on. So this was my last push. Uh, this was the eighth try. Uh, after the fourth try, I believe I switched to finally sacrificing two primals to get a uh, cute recipe page eleven dawn. So at first, I almost successfully pulled off with the non ancient sixty five dawn, but I was just lacking damage overall, so I had to use you know, uh, my first cute recipe page dawn, and it was, you know, a very defensive roll. Like this unfortunately but anyway here's the gear that i did when i did it was uh 1280 paragon at that time it was uh 9th of november so it was a while back already uh but i haven't really farmed that much paragon to be honest so here's the gear and the stats uh, the shoulders can still be better i'm still waiting for the 8 cdr version where i normally get 8 cdr ancient like pretty quickly cons and area of course but not this season i've had like three different sets of ancient seven cdr ones that can go area as well but not an eight and then i have an ancient gloves as well but it's not quad factor it's only trifecta but i'm using quad factor non-ancients that have too much well too low of the critical hit chance so when i say too much it means that it's too much of having low crit hit chance so my crit hit chance is a bit of a problem uh it's like right on the edge of 50 percent well 50.5 i think yeah and uh mousing over this restraint i've been using this restraint since the very well almost very beginning when i first got an ancient one uh this was looted by my demon hunter not given to me by any means and the reason that I've been using this is because of the 208 physical resistance that was given to me early on. And then, of course, also the doubling from Guardian Bracers oh, and Belt for the Guardian set, Guardian Jeopardy set, right? That it, uh, in the three-piece bonus, it actually doubles your uh, main stat attributes, equipped main stat attributes. So this 553 intelligence is really just doubled, and it's basically like even an additional uh increase in uh resistances right overall resistances so there's the dawn again and then this is the best boots i got so far uh this season there's a lot of high stat like high dexterity high vitality kind of stat gear aside from obviously the shoulder earlier that's one of my weaker stat boosts but the all resist is the min roll when i talked about high stat rolls Yes, I have another high stat rule here, 632 with 625. Uh, this was from a regular Nephilim Rift. This was not gambled. This was not given to me. Yeah, this was from my own Nephilim Rift drop. Uh, I believe it was Weeping Hollow. I, I, I just mean to say that I remember and recall where it dropped. Uh, this is like, I, I worked on different Guardian belts. For quite a while, I think this is like the third or fourth iteration of uh, belts that I, uh, different crafting sessions. Uh, this is yet another Nephilim Rift drop at the beginning, and this was back in Paragon 613. This was, this is my best drop of the season, I would say. Uh, and early enough uh, to where I was previously using an all resist chest before this one. But this one obviously is an ancient against the non-ancient, and it was a direct upgrade and an instant best in slot uh, because of the stats that you see here. It is an untouched uh, chest piece. Uh, at first, I was using a dex, vitality, crit hit, damage, socket one early on, and I had to force uh, cube recipe page two in order to get this one. It didn't take very long, but... Uh, this is usable for the longest of time, and I'm still using it. I haven't seen even a non-ancient elemental trifecta yet. Uh, these past few days, though, 
or, or this past few weeks, I've only seen other elements than gold. So I still don't have an elemental trifecta, even a non-ancient one to use. And this dexterity is still nice for Guardian uh, Jeopardy set setup, right? Yeah. And Bracers, this is the still the 16% cold. Uh, I recently crafted a 20% one, so I'll be using this. Uh, I'll be using a different one uh, from this one uh, for today, for this 135 onwards. Uh, this is the focus ring. And this focus ring, however, the problem with this focus ring is that it doesn't have direct resist in the secondary. And so what the problem now is that this restraint that has my quote-unquote resistance, it's playing for two. Playing for two. So playing for both rings combined. So when you look at this restraint, it's basically playing for two. For two people. Quote-unquote, right? Uh, this, uh, this is the older Vala, but this is also my original, um, first ancient usable Vala that I had, and I was using this for a long time, but now both my weapons are a, diff a slightly different ones, and they are going to be, uh, helping me out, uh, for my 135. So here we go. We'll load in, and, uh, we'll check out my weapons. I mean, I can also check out my weapons later. As a surprise, but uh, I can go either way to check. But let's swap my skills back first to the push setup that I normally play. Right, it's just slightly different on, especially the smoke screen. Uh, and this setup is basically uh, a well. I had this setup before the Soul Shard season, but this setup is very much similar to the Soul Shard season. Now, in the Soul Shard season, however, uh, when I play Sliver of Terror, I will actually use this one because I want to align this to be as close to my Wolf Companion as possible to reduce manually pressing. For people who prefer not manually pressing, it will always generally be bladed armor no matter what. But because I manually press and I, and in that season sliver of terror wise, I don't want to keep pressing my bladed armor manually. Well, I play manually anyway, so uh, to avoid manually pressing too much to maintain the advantage, the full advantage consistency of the sliver of terror in the helmet so shard, uh, I chose to extend the the cooldown uptime uh, to pinpoint accuracy instead. Even though it's not really that helpful by any means, I still did it anyway because. I wanted to reduce pressing a, yet another button when already hungering arrow in the build is um annoying enough especially when you need when you when you put more damage output right so these are my newer weapons uh when i was trying to roll for 10 cdr uh they gave me uh elite damage so i was like you know what i'll take it i'll i'll, I'll take it for a run right uh, and then I actually was, since I got the new uh, new second attempt at the uh, Cute Recipe page 11 Dawn, I decided to uh, force Reforge in Cute Recipe page 2 a new Vala. And it took a while before the minimum and maximum damage range was actually good enough, uh, where a lot of my different previous uh, Cube Recipe page 2 attempts were under 1500 max side damage, so I couldn't use them. Now, this one, the very sad case is that it rolled 6 CDR, which is the min roll, right? Um, but when I was looking for area damage, however, uh, since it's not a primal, it would also land on different kinds of area damage, but it didn't really give me the 24 I wanted. And before it even showed me anything good, it showed me 8 elite damage again, just like this one, but this is an ancient one, right? So it directly gave me an 8. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. You know what? I'm going to try it. So I'm, I'm kind of like a semi guild setup right now because I'm uh, trying out elite damage. Uh, not many seasons that I do elite damage in weapon because I don't, I don't play like, let's say, Crusader or whatever that has a quadfecta way of getting elite damage on there. Uh, most of the time, the main priority stats like 
uh, or or main builds like attack speed, area damage, 10% damage, and everything uh, are a higher priority than the elite damage, right? So, but in this situation, in this case, however, uh, I've just, and the build is struggling on higher elite damage outside of Rift Guardians, right? Um, that the elite packs are taking a while, especially the yellow elite packs. So this is this is kind of like an interesting way to play since uh, Miriam gave me the RNG, the quick RNG for them. So once again, I'm gonna quickly go through the my uh, my hero details of my 134 again, and then I'll begin with my push. Maybe I have to check my gloves to make sure I'm not using the wrong pair of gloves before I uh, go. Oh yeah, I have to show the bracers too, because I switched the bracers. I recently crafted a uh, 20 cold, well, a flex elemental one, but I lost the lightning resist. Uh, if somebody was paying attention, I had a better lightning resist. So, uh, my lightning resist fell below, now falls below 1400, or it was near 50, it was actually probably 1500 actually, because of 170, plus 177. Yeah, so it was at 1500. Um, but yeah, my crit chance is not great. And let's see. Okay, I'm using the right pair of gloves for the 110% area plus. So I think I'm ready to go. Uh, I will just go straight into it. And um, I, I'll go straight into it because I want the best RNG for uh, opening maps. So let's go ahead and try the 135. Wait. Yes. So, 135. <sighs> That's augmented. These two are augmented. I don't think I made any any other errors. Yeah, sometimes I make one error, and it's like, especially because I manually play uh, Seath versus Dark Hearts. Uh, the highest I've ever done Seath rune without getting hurt for like 20% progress was like 127 or something like that. But it's very dangerous to play Seath on anything higher than 125. For Seath anyways. So, alright. Here we go. Come on, big money. Should I empower? Nah. I'm too close to 60% that they will fail. And I and I don't have that much gold, to be honest. I mean, it's enough to do stuff, but I'm not going to do it. Or not for not not for this situation where I'm not close enough and I'm too like worried about not getting the success rolls anyways. So, my simplicity is always usually plus one or on the on the dot for the push. Well, when I say plus one, is because I successfully pushed a one thirty four, so it's usually a plus one against that. Because at the one thirty four, I try to upgrade my simplicity to one thirty five, because it's on the dot with the push tier number. So here we go, one thirty five. Let's go. Let's try it. Like tunnels, huh? They really test me. Oh, Val Swarms though. Okay. So Val Swarms is the best or at the top two. Top one, top two basically. Uh I don't think I can fight a first yellow. So I'm just killing whatever I can kill here and move on. Yes, moving on. Let's find more uh Val Swarms and density. Oculus ring. So let's try to uh, maintain our time by using as many Oculus rings and well, I don't know about fighting an elite pack, but we'll find out. Oculus ring. Okay, density down. Move on. 
second yellow elite, so I can't do I can't do three yellow elites in a row. And that's a fire shaman, so I don't like that one. So I'm just gonna kill here for the density. And get out. Uh I don't really think I can play any more density there. So let's go. I can play here instead until the yellow elite catch the, the, any of the yellow elites catch up if they caught if they if they are gonna catch up. I mean, I can't waste time pulling them. I think they're not worth the time, not in this map anyways. I mean, I have done a plague tunnels pull where I pulled three elite packs a long time ago. So here, here I'm gonna try to get my twelve percent more or less first. Um. Minimum before I check the nook for a potential pylon, but even with a potential pylon, I didn't know what I'm fighting, right? So, depending on what I'm fighting, I can't really just instantly take the pylon either. But I'm killing a lot of Val Swarms there just now to maintain my break even. So, I'm trying to get as much percent as I can before I check the nook. I'm not going to use that Oculus Ring because I don't want to over-reveal something. So there's a blue elite there. Is there anything else up ahead? Okay, not really that much. I'm going to try to manually play this first. And then go back for the go back for the, for the Nook to check the pylon. I know this is greedy of me, uh, but I'm doing it. Okay, I think it's time to go check. Conduit, okay, perfect. Alright, perfect. I just wanted to make sure I get enough progress for a pylon to spawn, potentially, to help me. Because in case in case it's exactly 25 or or more, then I'll have a problem with uh, whatever I'm fighting, right? So, that is very important. Okay, one down. The blue got down. Okay, next. Alright. Let's keep moving, keep moving. Okay, density. Let's go. Okay, keep moving. Density, let's go. Keep moving. Alright, yellow elite shielding. Nope, let's go. Keep moving. Oculus ring. Keep moving. Let's go. Almost out. Keep moving. Exit. Uh, forests. Uh, grotesque. Okay, so my convict's over. I, I'm 47%. Uh, I don't know if I want to accidentally spawn the pylon up top, though. And I don't know if I already did anyway. Uh-oh. That was painful. I was talking and forgot to see my grotesque explosions. I think I'm going to check up top anyway. Uh, as soon as I get 50%, just in case I accidentally already revealed it from a Fog of Warp perspective. Because when you enter, there's already a high chance that it might have popped up for your 50% pylon. So I'm gonna go check after this fight. Even though I probably shouldn't, but I'll check it anyway. And the reason why I shouldn't is because it's too far of distance and it can waste my time on the duration of whatever the next pylon is. Okay, let's check. Yep, channeling. Okay, I knew this was gonna happen. So, I'm. Um, what, what is it? It's a juggernaut. So, I can't kill the juggernaut. I mean, the clones probably can kill the juggernaut. But. I don't think I'm going to stay if the Juggernaut isn't 50% by the time I end here. Okay, as soon as this Punisher goes down, I'm going to leave. Yep, it's not 50%. Punisher goes down, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. Another yellow elite. Nope, time to play density. So I'm going to be falling behind time now, because I'm seeing way too many yellow elite packs 
in this rift attempts way too many yellow elites. Like, I think I've gotten only like, what, two blues? Or maybe one blue. The blue that was like the one before the conduit. I mean, the one that I saw before going to check for the pylon, the first pylon. So I'm just killing as much density as I can, which is the grotesques. I think this is the last grotesque. Okay, I'm gonna move on. So I'm just gonna kill as as many grotesques as I can, preferably all of this. Oculus ring, grotesque explosions, gotta be careful. Okay, 66%, 67 uh, mm, soon. So now I need to be careful for my prog progression to see what my next pile, my third pylon might be. Okay, I think I can keep moving. Uh, this is getting to become a problem. So what the problem is now is that the density is getting a little bit uh, DIY, meaning that I have to build them myself. Uh-oh. I was talking again. As soon as I said the DIY thing, I didn't realize that one of the grotesques were, was so low on HP. So I have to kill some of these zombies since I already worked on them a bit. Where's, the, where's my Oculus Rain at? There it is. Alright, so I need to hope that the next pylon be something useful. Because I'm gonna lose my time lead here. Very easily. Very, very easily. Oculus ring for this grotesque. Okay. This one other zombie, move on. So I'm at 75, but I don't think I see anything useful just yet. And this is a dangerous spot to play. This is another yellow elite, by the way. I have a bad feeling about this, this spot. So I think I have to skip here. Wow, another yellow elite. Okay, there's a blue here, but I don't know. I feel like I am getting myself into very big trouble by playing this. Alright, I'll try my best to play some grotesque here, but this is not a good idea. This is a bad idea. I think I should leave. Okay, I should leave there. Another, another forest. Wow, this is a density forest. This is way crazy. So luckily I have my area damage for this. But there's a bad news for this. I don't know when they're going to meet the pylon and I don't know if it's a two pylon rift or a three pylon rift. So I'm in pretty big trouble with the rift guardian fight if, I, if I'm not careful. So the blue is like two third health right now, I believe from the random mouse overs. Uh, I'm not sure if I can overstay this though. The density is crazy, by the way, in this one. Like, like this is actually helping me, because I'm a, I'm a density killer, so to speak. So, it's like really good, but also really bad because I don't know at what percent I should go check for a pylon, and then this blue is like half dead. In this mess. 
It says two blues or one blue. I don't even know. I feel like it's just one blue. But it looks like it's two. Because there's two. Yeah, it's one is zombie returned and one is spiders. So I think I should go check for a pylon. Okay, power. Okay. Take it and play. Take it and play. Kill this too, please. Just take it and play and spawn the Rift Guardian. Yep. Spawn the Rift Guardian and I'm done. Play cleanly. This gun deal is not great actually. It's actually a time killer. Oculus ring. But I think I got this. It's just I have to play properly and cleanly, and I'm good. Oculus ring. Got it done. First try, 135. All I have to do is play methodical, right? I mean, I had to skip all the yellow elites. There were just too many. There were just too many. Like, the whole rift. It was like literally the whole rift. I only had, what, three, three or four blues? I skipped one blue down on the previous floor, right? On the floor two. At the corner there. I skipped that one. So I only, I only played like three blues there were like nine yellow elite packs i think something like that so i skipped i just skipped playing yellow elites they, they, they would just take forever well there wasn't enough density to play yellow elite packs basically because the only density that was crazy enough to play was the was this two blues that you just saw because there was just so much density, right? There was just so much density. I was killing the density as the priority that the the one or two blues, I thought I saw two, but I thought there was one later, and then there were two anyway because I was mousing over different blues. I saw the nameplates out of the whole density, right? So anyway, it was just crazy. And I nearly got procced several times from grotesque explosions. Uh, but anyway, no rips. Uh, first try 135, done. Pretty good. I lost my nice time, though, obviously, on the other thing. But it was good that I got a power pylon for the Rift Guardian, because Escandale is one of the time eaters. It's not the only time eater, but it's one of the time eaters. So yeah, non-ancient gloves method. And this elite damage is nice against the Rift Guardian, too, so... I'm glad. But I need better uh better jewelry now. Yeah, and I'm using vanishing powder as my own favorite. I have the wolf companion as uh as though I'm a quarter support, so to speak. Come on, big money. There we go, nice. I guess I should have taken a screenshot before I did that, right? Uh for the no rips. I forgot. Come on, I want 132. Yep, that's fine. I'll take the screenshot later. No rips part. It's just gonna be a, a little blocked, but it's fine. I need to go back. Um, yeah. So that's pretty good. First try. First try, 135. It wasn't easy. I, I skipped a lot of stuff. Uh, let me also update the... That's...
what was it? 1222.833. I think it's 1490. Paragon. Rank 146. Okay. I think I can try for one um 136 though. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be really rough. But I think I might be able to pull that off. Hey, Stealth, I just got it done. First try, I spoke things out. You might have to rewatch it. I just got it done, like, just now. Like, it was just, like, moments ago. First try. And I, f I skipped... I skipped, like, nine different yellow elite packs. I just can't play them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try 136, though. I'm going to try 136. Um, just to see if I can do it under 1500 Paragon or, or close to 1500 Paragon. I know people have done it, but they probably fished as well. Or just really lucky. Uh, I got the Conduit Pylon earlier just now at the 18%. And then I got a Channeling at like 52 and then just now I got I got floor three. It was so much density for two blue elite packs. I I killed a lot of the density while I was hurting the blues, the two blues down to I thought it was one blue, and then I saw two because the nameplates were uh different. One was a skeleton or a zombie skeletal ish zombie whatever. Uh, and then another one was spiders blue. So they were half hurt already, and I was hoping for the my third pylon and my third pylon was power so and i was at 92 percent so i was like i'll just well I, I was waiting to check as close as possible because the second pylon was channeling and i was losing some small little bits of time so i wanted to make sure that i got a, a pylon that i could play in case i need to save it for the rift garden instead but i was like since it's power and i know how power is played this season so I, I needed to use it to kill the, the two blues. And then the power actually helped to kill Escandil. Because Escandil will suffer uh, as God DH if I'm, not, if I'm not high Paragon for direct damage. Where Escandil wastes time at the second half. If, if not careful, it will waste you three minutes without, without, uh, without a pylon. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice Thunder Fury. I'll keep that for a follower. Okay. Let's try the, yeah, I skipped a lot of yellow elites. A lot of yellow elites. I just couldn't play any. So now 136, after I got the 135 down, here's the gear again, helmet, shoulders, non-ancient quad factor gloves, that could be better, still waiting, I've still, still been gambling them, I'll be gambling after, later on, if I successfully get my blood shards, there's my restraint, as per usual, the intelligence one still, I still haven't seen a dexterity one, so I still lack damage from this. Uh, this is my newer, you know, uh, newer Dawn with the elite damage. So, yes, the elite damage does help, but even at this level, I can't kill any uh, yellow elite packs because of my Paragon. I'm just low Paragon. Yeah. Pants from Nephilim Rift. Guardian Belt. This is like a fourth iteration. Uh, basically four, uh, set, four sessions of Guardian Belts. This is my best chest piece from Paragon 613. This is a reforged amulet that's usable with the fire resist. 
Uh, this is my latest bracer from the other day. This is my focus ring without resistance, so the other ring is playing all the resistance for me. And then this is my latest Valas that also happen to give me elite damage. And I'm playing Vanishing Powder, unlike most that play... Well, I think about... The majority of people play a special recipe. So, yeah, anyway. 1490. So my Paragon is still under 1500. That's why I can't play Yellow E packs. Because I don't have enough um, direct damage from base damage and sheet damage or like just damage in general. Like my, my damage here, look at this. And this is still buff damage, by the way. <laughs> the whole time, this is still buff damage. I'm like way low in damage. All I can do is density for the most part. Density and some kinds of blues. So I have to play out in a certain different way than other people. All right, let's try 136 and see how it can ruin my day. All right, here we go. 136. Ice Forest, it's okay. Uh, Betrayed. I'll use the I'll use my potion now. So Betrayed is the poison mob set. Uh, this is very little monsters though. Okay, here's a bit more monsters. It's blue there. I don't know if I can stay for a blue right at the start. Like this though. I might be able to kite it with me. The blue is getting hurt though. Because of my elite damage, but I just lost my stacks. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. I might be able to pull it, but I don't know. I think I think this is a very I think I'm like lacking paragons for like elite packs in general. I can try to keep pulling, but... Okay, this is... Wait, are they teleporters? But they're not teleporting very well. So they are teleporters. That's the good news. Uh, but I'm losing time. So that's the other problem. So they're teleporters. So I might be able to play going back to the center later. But I'm losing a lot of time trying to think of a blue. So this mob set is not helpful. Earlier, I got Val Swarms on my first floor, so my progress bar was amazing. I mean, breaking even, that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm already feeling the, the damage issue for myself. This is a very big problem. Yellow Elite, I can't play the Yellow Elite. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. I might have to go try the other side. This side. And drag, the, and drag this blue with me on this side. Gonna try to use Oculus Rings to kill this blue as best I can, but I'm lo I'm losing precious time here. I'm hoping to get as many Oculus Rings as I can before I have to drag uh, this this. This fire chains is just bad. Ouch. Okay, I have to... Okay. I'm so lucky that I have elite damage because this would only take even longer without the damage. Okay, 11%. I'm like behind time. I don't know what my first pylon would be if I get an early pylon or not at all. So I have to kill more density now to get back my time. Okay, I didn't get an early pylon and it's ghosts. I mean, it, at least it's a blue, but... Uh, wait, it, it's illusionist blue? Oh no. Uh. I mean, I do get Oculus Rings from Illusionist, but this is bad. I'll just have to kill Density and try to kite it, I guess, even though I don't like the damage incoming from Ghosts, though. How much damage am I dealing them? 
Can't even see. Can't even see. And this uh, shaman is just annoying me. These two shamans, they're just like killing my necklace. So... Kill these grotesques, I guess, if I can kill them without dying. Oculus ring. I just don't know what my first pylon would be and when. Because I need help. Those two fire shamans is really getting me mad, by the way. I mean, I can't just go purposely to kill them either. So this blue is almost going down, but I don't know if I can stay here. Okay, shield. Okay. Uh, how close was my other elite here? Okay. Is there an elite down here? No? Really? This is terrible. Okay, pull. I have to pull this blue properly and... Are you stuck? Oh my goodness, man. The ghosts are stuck. Okay, I have to play now. I don't know if I can kill the yellow. The yellow is not even here. And are the are the ghosts like stuck somewhere? This is pointless. Yeah, the ghosts are stuck. This is just fantastic. Sarcast sarcastically. I don't think I can kill anything in here. Hopefully the blue ghosts are going down. Uh, don't tell me there's another ghost that's way back. I think I have to go check. Yep. I knew it. I was about to say. Because I would have killed the ghost by now. There we go, the orbs. Terrible. I mean, I'm committed now, I think. I just don't know how much I've put, taken them down. Is the is the Hell Witch almost down? I think so. Yes. Okay, both are both are almost down. Okay, good. I was like, I really hope I have enough damage. Just kill one of the fire shamans and leave. Broke even. Okay. I guess I can kill this. Alright. Barely played that too. I need to kill this grotesque and go. Oh no. It keeps. Oh, Lacuni Slasher keeps? Wait, is it Lacuni Slasher or Bogan Trapper? Bogan Trapper. It's a fake. It's a fake out. Wait. What? Okay, shield's down anyway. Uh. Hmm. This is a mix keeps. I don't like a mix keeps actually. So, when I say a mix keeps, the problem is I don't know if it's Lacuni Slasher or Bogans. Like, which one? Because there's char this Bogan Charger, so it's not Lacuni Slasher. It's just a mix. It's just a mix mob set, because it's every every different thing. So I'm gonna lose all my time, because this is a bad keeps. This is not the Lacuni Slasher keeps that I want. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, I have to move after I kill one or two things if I don't get charged. Am I even able to kill this Bogan? I have to kill him. I have to kill him and move. 
Okay. I mean, I might as well kill everything and move. Yeah, this is this is a little busted. Okay, short keeps. Okay, this is better. Well, uh, hulks are not good with. Uh, this is transformer. Transformer mob set. With a yellow elite here, I can't do anything about a yellow elite. I don't have enough transformers around. Yeah, the transformer is almost dead. Yeah, this is over. I think. This is, I think this is over. I mean, I can try to play here. But I think it's over. Uh, the elite's just dropping stuff now. Oh, there's a, the blue elite here. That's why there's arcane beams around. Okay. But this looks like it's over. I mean, if I can get a good pile on here, which I already used a shield for three, which is very minimal just now. Um, this is very likely over. I mean, I'll try, but. Okay, there's not enough transformers. And this is the end of the floor again. And there's a nut. Yeah, this is this is over. All right, let's check what the next floor is. Keeps foul swarms. Mm, I mean, I don't know. There's not enough foul swarms. I think I can use this foul swarm to get back, but it's too late. I need like thirty foul swarms. I need like 30 Val Swarms and not all these yellow elite packs to get back the time. Oh, and there's a spinner yellow. Great. Power. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, there's a blue here. I think I have to play that, that blue with the power. This power is really far away too. And I can't click it. And I can't kill this yellow elite either. Yeah, I can't kill this yellow elite either. I have to just kill Val Swarms. Maybe this blue? Yep, I think I can kill this blue. If I don't die to this stupid Oculus ring. Okay. Yeah, I, I tried my best to get back the time. I lost time already. One and a half floors of worthless. Yeah, I got close. I mean, the Valsborn saved me a little bit. I played the best I could with that power. Because the yellow elite wasn't going to drop. I would have lost even more time if I stayed for that one yellow elite. One yellow elite power is nothing. This was as close as I can get. To make back the time. I'm just gonna kill and check. This is floor 4 already. By the way. It's like... Uh, of course the... Yeah. I, if, I was, uh, if I was breaking even. This foul swarm would have gave me the lead. But... I'm killing these foul swarms. And I'm catching up 1% at a time. Right. But I don't have enough time for the Rift Guardian fight because uh, the only thing that can help me is a conduit, 
like anytime now, but I think I think that power is gonna be my last pylon. Helpful pylon anyway. And I think I went to, in a circle because I was trying to make use of my power pylon. And I just think I, I think I just killed my pylon too. My next pylon. Because I don't have enough time anyways. Alright, let's see. I think I killed the pylon spawn. Yeah, I did. I mean, I can try here, but... There's a next pylon here. Before the end. I like these spell swarms though. Like, they, they showed the potential of what I could do, but it's too late. If it was Val Swarms, like, earlier, earlier, I could possibly do something. Maybe at 92% I can get a Conduit. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play the Rift Guardian if it's not a Conduit. But yeah. Uh, do I get a Pylon here? No? No? Yeah, it's over. Never mind. I'm not gonna bother. I'm I'm just gonna waste too much energy playing. So that wasn't good. That wasn't good. The start was bad too. The start was really bad. Like um, yeah. I, I'm I think I I don't have enough damage one thirty six. In general, I'm just liking paragons basically. Unless I fish, right? I mean, unless I get something better. I'll try a few more times. So that was a okay first attempt, I think. I kind of played as best I could, try to like catch up the time. I broke even with the shield, but I lost time right after that. And then I also lost time because I knew that the ghosts were stuck. Because they look stuck at that tree. And then I was like, why are there only like two out of three or whatever, or... Three out of four that I killed, and I didn't see any orbs. So I was like, they must be stuck. Yeah, anyway. Alrighty, well, let's try again. Second try, here we go. My hand is already hurting because... Uh, because I lack paragons, and it's just a lot of work. Right? Oh, goodness. Halls of Agony. Uh, okay, this is a density... Density intense floor. Okay, that's good and bad. The good is that I can kill this. The bad is that the value is not enough. I mean, I am getting breaking even for the time. But I don't know if it's enough because it can turn any moment. Oculus ring. Okay, charger goes charging into my Oculus. Okay. Hammer. Oculus ring. Okay. Can't play that, even though there's really good density here. I guess I'll play the density and hope that the yellow elite doesn't get me too much. Charging bull. Can't see a thing. Frost. Yeah, this is a problem. I just don't know if I want to stay for this 11% or so. Or should I go ahead? I think I should just go ahead now. Of course the, the ring spawns like on the edge of my screen. And then the yellow is following me. Great. Uh, can I get my 12% please before I move too far? I'm worried. 
Okay, 12%. And then another yellow elite shielding this time. Okay, so I need a conduit. Please. No, no py no early pylon. Okay. I need help. I need help. I think I need paragons. That's what I need. I mean, I did the 135 pretty well, but I think it's I think the the damage is showing already. Okay, 16. Wow, I ran back into the charge barely. That's just silly of me. Hammer, frost. Can I get a pylon? No. I think it's over. Because I was hoping that I can still play the two yellow elites there if I get a good pylon to uh, kill them both at the same time. Yeah, this is already over. I'm too short of damage. It, it comes down to a... Uh, to the best monster types, like Foul Swarms and Chickens and Face Beast, I think, at this Paragon. And then a big conduit play, obviously. A big conduit or big power play. I mean, these blues are dropping. But... I can't kill yellow elites, I can only kill blue elites. Yeah, and these blues are not even gonna break me even. I'm just wasting time. But I'm hurting them with any Oculus Rings remaining. So that in case I can come back for it, for them. From a uh, pylon. Okay, I think I have to go check. Yep, our pylon. I knew that was going to happen. I was like, my pylon is somewhere close by, and then I can play that. But this is over. This power pylon is also useless. Play this, this direction, I think, to kill this blue. If I can even kill this blue. Oh man, I don't even think I can kill this blue. Okay, I can. Well, maybe. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot to kill for a... For a power pylon. These hulks, they're just... They're too healthy. Uh, this is gonna take forever. And then there's a blue here. Uh, if this blue was a little closer, I would have been able to break even. But this is this is gonna be a two-minute fight here. This will be a two-minute fight in this place if I don't die. This is good value, but...
I wish I was closer. With the power pylon. Oculus ring. Pretty greedy with it. I mean, I have to. Oculus ring right under my feet. Of course, you're so healthy! Why is it always there's a freaking healthy blue? I've been killing so many of them. Oh my goodness, man. Every time, every season, I get a very freaking healthy blue. That just eats my time. Yeah, it's over. Big spiders. And blue ghosts. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I like damage. I need to farm paragons. I mean, I knew I need to, but I just didn't expect how silly it would be. Like, I got the 135 down, which was even funny, honestly. Because it doesn't even show me that I have enough damage for a 135, to be honest. I just happen to know what I'm doing. Like, to get this progress bar like this, you have to know what you're doing. Because... Uh oh. Uh... I wasn't even planning on that to happen. But there's like nothing. Okay, so I have to run all the way, and this is a dead end anyway, so luckily I didn't. But I have to take it and play, cause... I'm behind time, I have to take it and play. I know this is a dead end, but I have to kill... Some spiders there. Too late. Too late. Is it grotesque? I've already used my two best pylons, what can I do? <laughs> two best pylons to break even. That's not good enough. I needed the I needed the conduit to get me two three minutes. I mean, it was even lucky that I broke even, to be honest. Another set of yellow elites. Ouch. They killed my necklace stacks just now, right on cold cycle. Uh, I don't even know what would help me anymore because I've already used the two best pylons. Shield's not gonna help me. Shield's only gonna help me for a Rift Guardian, and I can't get to the Rift Guardian at this rate. Uh, kinda dangerous that I didn't check that spot, but I don't think I had the progression. I might have to kill all this and, and then go back and check that spot. I have to kill all this to get 86 to see that if that pile if that pylon spot is a spot up there. 
on the right. Do I even get my 86 here? Barely, huh? Okay, let's, let's check if there's a pile on here. Nope. Well, I think it's over. Calling it already. Okay, well, I need Paragons, basically. I, I, I mean, the only other way is if I can get a Conduit that's actually helpful for like five Elite Packs. I can't, I can't get, I mean, I can try one more time. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more. Uh, what is the next floor? Okay, it's too far. I'll just try to kill this. I mean, it's fun to do density though. I mean, I'm good at it, but it's like, there's just too much. Yeah, thank you for being here, by the way. But this is how you, this is how you can get pro progression, by the way. So you have a lot of damage, you can kill elite packs at the same time that I can't. But if you want to find progression, this is how you find progression. And also earlier, right, I posted my video to you. Um, the timestamp where it shows how I use the uh, pylons. You should definitely check out how I use the pylon and kind of incorporate that. Because if you can incorporate that, you can push like one to two tiers. Just literally, literally playing more like aggressive with um or greedy with the with the pylons. You can push. I mean, not like I'm not forcing you to do 140 right now. I'm just saying that if you if you get an approach of pylons, you can get. The 140 even easier easier than you think you would because you're not playing the yeah channeling see channeling last pylon I'm not gonna waste my time and energy channeling last pylon I mean it's obvious that it would be channeling anyway because uh, I've already used power and conduit shield is the only other one but I was already out of time, so it didn't matter. Yeah, I'll play for the I'll play for the fifteen hundred paragon from kills, but Yeah, I'm pretty sure too, because if you can just play your pylons a little bit more greedy or you know, like you can get your one forty. I just need Paragons because I haven't been, I mean, I have been working on it, but I haven't been grinding for it. Right. All right. Third try. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, Elite at the door. Yellow Elite at the door with a bad pinkish red ring. All right. What is this? Is this, is this like, bur okay, this is density. Uh, This is the... The le leapers, or mob set. It's not the best mob set. It's kind of funny. It's like good and bad at the same time. Okay, I think that's about it. Yeah, scavengers and like those other things. So like, all I can do is density, right? Pretty much, I can kite this yellow with me. Not 
I can kite this yellow with me the whole way and play density. This is crazy. I mean, I can sit here all day trying to do this 136. Eventually, I'll get it, but it's very forceful. I don't even know if the yellow elite actually followed me, but anyway. My my goal wasn't even the yellow elite to be honest. Ten percent. The minions are following me for sure. I just don't think the yellow elite itself followed me. Right? Can't tell. I mean, I can tell, but doesn't seem like it. Twelve percent. Thirteen. Okay, blue. Power. This power is too early. Okay. Double blue. Okay. I think I have to play greedy here. Triple blue. Okay. That's that's the play. Oh god. Why do I have to get spinners there? It's gonna mess me up. Do I even have enough damage to kill these blues? I really wish that the yellow elite followed me back there though. Cause then I know that I will have enough play for this. This ring. That power was pretty good. Fifty percent. Oh my gosh, there was a blue there? Oh no... That's gonna make me really sad. Okay, anyway... Can I pull this blue over? I think I should just grab the speed and play it now. That's sad, because I needed a power to give me an extra blue, I think, or an extra elite. I think that's- I think I didn't play enough of the power. 
honestly. Yeah, I don't think I play the power enough. I have a bad feeling. I can kill these two blues, probably. But... This will be too close, I think. The yellow elite's getting all the damage now. Yeah, I, I think I didn't play greedy enough with the power and I didn't know that there was another blue there yep actually I would have preferred it to be a conduit Well, I'm committed now. So I have to kill the blue. Okay. How much is the health of the yellow elite? Oh, it's dying? Okay. Okay, I might as well kill the, the yellow elite then. Okay. I'm still mad about that blue. I'm still Juggernaut. Can't do that. Bogan Chargers. Uh. Another yellow elite. I'm gonna lose all my time. Where is the... Another yellow elite. I can't play this floor. I'm gonna lose all my time here. Literally. And I'm not kidding. That's why I'm mad with that blue. Okay. Short keeps. Okay. I wish I could do that. Alright, I gotta play. As best I can on this floor. I'm still okay. Need more time. Uh, another yellow elite. Two yellow elites. I'm so screwed, man. Uh, okay. Three elites here, four elites. Okay. Alright. I don't know if I can play this like this. Is that teleporter. I think I have to go. Ah, oh, come on! Stop giving me spinners! Do you want more? I'm still waiting. Not ready yet.
Okay. Moving him because the the gas clouds were just too much. Oculus ring, please, 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 please. Thank you. Oh come on, my damage is getting split here. Oculus ring, thank you. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Can you follow me or not? Yes! Woo! Thank you. Luckily, the spinners didn't kill me just now. Oh, man. Those spinners, though. I tell you, they want to ruin me, man. And that conduit... That conduit saved me. That conduit saved me. And luckily, I know how to play greedy. Because, like... There were what four elites around here? There were like what two, two, two down here, at this spot, two down here at this spot, and then I looked for more past the conduit, like right up here, and it was exactly enough to give me enough time lead in case it was a bad Rift Guardian, and this is one of the bad ones where you have to move him. You have to move him. And he didn't want to move like at the end. At the end, I wanted to fight him around here instead. You know, so that I can use this merry-go-round to fight him. But he didn't want to move. And so I was in trouble with the Oculus Rings. Because the Oculus Rings was going to land in the same spots as his previous gas clouds. And I was still procced from the spinner. From that one spinner. That was bad. Like... That was so bad of that spinner, by the way. And then early on, the power pylon... Well, there's a few problems. Even before the power pylon play, that yellow elite from the f entrance, I thought I was kiting it, but it was not kiting enough. So only the minions followed me. So first of all, if I did get a conduit, I wouldn't get the bonus of that first elite pack because it wasn't following correctly. And I think it wasn't the mob type that was going to follow me properly anyway. And I get that. But still, I was hoping for it to follow me somewhat so that in case I, I got a bigger play, I can do it. And then that blue elite, like after I played the power pylon like with like that four elite play of the blues, they were all blues, I think, including the... The Power Pylons Elite, I think. Or did I skip the Power Pylon Elite? I think I skipped the Power Pylon Elite. But anyway, or maybe I killed it. But in any case, I only saw that blue right after, and it got me really mad because I was under pressure on time on the progress bar. And so I couldn't play more greedy because normally if it was a conduit, I would play, play even greedier, right? And so it was just like the power pylon pissed me off with one short elite and I had to use the speed pylon to kill it and pray that I had enough to kill the other two originally near, well, the spawn elite and the blue that was near the pylon, near the speed. 
I just couldn't just kill those two. I had to try to kill the blue that I saw that I was upset about. So that added into the problem. And then I had to skip a whole floor because why? Bogan chargers are good, okay? The, that keeps, keeps is bad. Bogan chargers are okay only if you can kill a lot of them at the same time. Okay, it's kind of like that one room where you know how I killed a lot of the Golgors just now uh, in the Festering Woods. I think I killed like a thousand monsters at that one spot be before the Speed Pylon or something or, or, or around that time. You can only, if, if you get enough Bogan Chargers at that same amount of kills, you can get back your progression. But if you're killing one by one Bogan Charger, you're going to waste time. So I had to skip a whole keeps just to make sure I don't lose the time that I gained from that first floor, which wasn't even good enough. And then I got lucky for this one because the only other possible play there was a shield pylon. Anything else aside from conduit or shield, I was screwed. I, I, I wasn't going to make it. And then, of course, it was spinners, right? And since I don't have a shield, if the spinners were any smarter, it would cause me to miss position because I was desperate in time because I want to make sure that I have enough conduit for the Rift Guardian as well. I have to play that greedy. Like, just have to. All right, I'm going to remember to screenshot this one now. One thirty five, no rips one thirty six. Third try. That was a third try one thirty six, I believe. And my paragon is what, fifteen hundred? Wow, is it really fifteen hundred exact? It is. <laughs> I'm even happier. I'm even happier now because it's fifteen hundred exact. This is even better. Come on, big money! Yes! 137 gem! Yes! Good. Uh, maybe I should try 90% now, I guess. Okay. Let's catch this Taeguk up. Oh, come on. It couldn't give me that 130 to round it out. Oh, man. Alright, go back to the leaderboard again. Oh, I missed the... I missed the top 100 by like a minute plus though. But what can I expect? What can I expect? I mean, I was lacking so much damage. It's ridiculous. Rank 64. Rank 64. 1500 Paragon. Exactly. Alright. So I have Paragons to work on now. At least I got my 136 down though. I... I, I mean... I would... I love that I could do two at a time. Instead. But yeah. that That's just... That was a lot of work though. Uh, uh, GR 136 third try at 1310.1 point what? 316 P 1500 Paragon rank 103 64 God specific happy days that's pretty good I, I was actually not very hopeful, honestly, um, during the push because it just didn't feel like I had enough damage, and I don't. 
uh, you have to like really, really play it out, and it gets real insane. That's all I can say. And it's of course non ancient dawn, non ancient gloves on the bottom left. Seventy eight percent Oculus Wizard Belts fifty six not good enough. Ah a slightly better potion. And then I guess I'll extract that. But yeah, guys. Um, well, let's go check the hero details again. And uh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I will make this highlight. And I hope you guys enjoyed it because uh, I I prefer just showing the showing the push attempts. And I want to like take a break and celebrate. And then I'll, the next time I'm going to do, I'm going to grind Paragons again. So, yeah. But here's the gear, right? Vanishing Powder. Usual Fan of Knives, but I have Wolf Companion. I have Numbing Traps for the damage reduction that I'm taking. I'm taking so much damage. Yeah, so... Uh, my follower isn't very good either. I'm still at 18,200 intelligence only. I, I, I still have so much room that I can work on. Um, but it's only for cooldown because I had to swap to cooldown because of my, uh, bad default follow 6 CDR. So until I fix this, uh, I can't go back to, uh, amplification damage. And then in the application damage, then I'll have enough damage. I only have 5.6 million cold. <laughs> this is my actual damage without the buffs. I mean, even though there is buffs here, it, it says you take less damage from attacks. But this is just toughness-wise. 